Hey guys, it's Sheridan, and today we're doing a vintage review of the Nerf Airjet Power Plus Split Fire. So the Split Fire was released in, um, hmm, let's just see, I don't really know, hmm, let's just, hmm, yeah, um, yeah, um, hmm, 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 all right, well. So the Split Fire was released in 1999, and it fired vintage Mega Darts here. It actually fired two different kinds, so it has the screaming type which are pretty similar to the modern ones except they're just a bit thinner in diameter and it also had the typical suction caps and it actually came with both of them which I think was a first for any blaster to have two types of vintage mega darts and so it has storage for four of them so we've got two on the side here and then two of course in the main blaster so since it was an air jet power plus blaster, of course it's powered by air and there's a little tiny pump here which you pump about five or so times or at least until you hear the OPRV kick in and it has a two stage trigger so if you pull it slowly you can fire one and then the other or I'm just going to load the other darts in. It'll, if you pull it really fast you can fire both at the same time. So like all the other Airjet Power Plus blasters, it's got a nice kind of a clear, transparent green side so you can see all the internals. And then the other side is just all like plain and doesn't have too much going on with it. So this side looks a lot nicer than the other side, obviously. But other than that, there's not really too much to say about the split fire because it's a really simple blaster and doesn't really have too much else going on. It does have like a little I guess that's just for decoration. I mean, you can't really attach a sling to that. That's just way too small. So we're just going to move on to the range test now. Hey guys, it's Tom, and today we're here at the range to range test the Vintage Airjet Power Plus Split Fire. So we're just going to be shooting um, its two types of Vintage Megas. So first flat, we're just going to be shooting its Vintage Mega Suctions, and then we're going to be shooting um, flat, again, uh, Vintage Mega Whistler Dark or whatever you call them. Anyways, starting off with flat shots of the Vintage Mega Suctions, let's go. Okay, now the Whistling Megas. Still flat shots, though. Okay, so now we're going to do angled shots of Vintage Mega Suction Top. Okay, so now we're doing angled shots of the whistling megadots, or vintage megadots. Okay, that's it for shooting the darts. Now let's check the ranges. Okay, so our first shot here is at 29 feet. It's probably just a worn dart, and it's a suction cup one. And then we have two suction cups at 36 feet. And then up here we have kind of a grouping of three of the uh, whistling mega darts from 45 to 46 feet. One more suction cup dart at 48 feet, and our last shot is a whistling dart at 54 feet. Okay, that's it for the range test. Now on to the conclusion. So overall, the split fire is a really good blaster for its time and still holds up pretty well because the ranges that it got were pretty decent for vintage mega darts. In fact, that's probably the farthest I've seen them shoot so far and it was also an air power blaster which just means it's more powerful than the spring ones could get and overall it's a really compact blaster as well and it also fired two at a time which was also pretty cool. So the split fire does have some modification potential you could probably plug the air release valve and put some PVC in the barrel if you wanted to shoot elite darts but you're going to want to be careful if you do that because the split fire is known to be a pretty destroyable blaster and that's not an exaggeration because we had another one that was actually Tom's and his worked fine when he got it but then slowly the barrels just started to not shoot and now it doesn't shoot at all so we're glad we got this one from our recent big vintage find and it's a pretty good blaster overall and I think you should definitely get one if you do see one in stores. If you're going to keep it stock you can fire 
only really the vintage mega darts that it, it would normally use. You can't really fire modern megas, unfortunately, but it works pretty well once you PVC it too, because it shoots really hard and it also shoots two at a time. So it also just looks really nice, don't you think? So that's the end of our vintage review of the Nerf Airjet Power Plus Split Fire. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.